Hey guys, now we are in the fourth part of this tutorial and finally we are in the key shot. So I bring this model through a plugin which I install it into 3ds Max. Now you can watch the whole tutorial for that which I created just a few weeks ago and I put the link in the below. So make sure to check it out that video. However, now we are in the stage where I'm going to start applying the material. So I'm going to start with the body and I'm looking for the shiny material for the body. So Maybe like this one. No, not this one. But mostly I go with the plastic and maybe a shiny plastic will work. Yeah, that's what I was looking for it. And for the tubes, I'm going to apply the blue and the black. And for the buttons, I'm going to apply something uh, gray. And for these ones, this doesn't need to be uh, these buttons doesn't need to be shiny so I'm going to make sure these are in the rough positions and this uh, warning signs it's don't worry about that this is mo just more like uh, overwriting materials and you want to make sure that you switch to the model and select the model and just right click and unlink the material which is important so sometimes when you are applying the materials it applies onto the whole model which you don't want it so I'm just copying and pasting material, just right clicking, copy and then paste. That's easy. However, I just did a little bit mistake over here. Uh, now this is not a separate part, this is just a one piece. So what I have to do, I have to go back to 3ds Max and come to the model and select the model. And selecting by selecting the speaker, make sure it's on group. So I'm going to select the faces and just hitting grow and turn off use nubs nub subdivisions and uh, then I'm going to detach it now I'm using detach button because uh, when I'm going to apply the material into the key shot so it's going to apply the whole uh, part of the object so you want to make sure those uh, where you want to apply the materials those objects are separate so once it's confirms then I'm going to switch to my second material sorry second object and selecting those faces which I want to make separate there we go and again detaching the part and once I got the part then I'm going to apply some swift loop to the corners since I'm going to apply the smooth so I want to make sure that when I'm going to apply the smooth I have some support loose into the corner edges which is necessary so once I got this then I'm going to select those parts now I got four parts and again I'm switching to my plugin and just updating over there and there you have it. It's pretty fast quickly. I really love this workflow to be frankly. And once I got this then I can go and copy the material and paste the material. Now for over here I'm going to edit the material and go to the textures and go to my opacity section. Uh, what I want some you know holes into the those speakers so I'm going to switch to my I guess yeah that's that's the texture which uh, we created in the last uh, uh, lesson so just check it out so once I got this then I'm going to start playing with the scale and I'm going to change the scale over maybe just down a bit let's look nice much better now for over here I'm going to just copy the material and paste it and maybe just a little bit tweaking like roughness and maybe reflection of index. This gives me a nice dark color which I was looking for it. Now for the buttons I need some um, arrows for this like fast forward button and play and you know volume switchers these all things. So what I'm going to do I'm going to switch to my labels and add a label over here and for that obviously I need to switch to Photoshop and create my own label and once I got this then I'm going to go to my custom shapes and switch to all shapes which I can see all those shapes and maybe I'm going to start with this fast forward button so I guess this button has multiple functions so it can be fast forward as well I'm going to add a sound volume up so I'm going to maybe add a plus sign mm, yeah 
that's 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 what I was looking for the plus sign so I'm just holding down alt and shift to make it in constraints and just bring the light color just slightly bring it back there we go just hammer hitting the arrow key and I want to make sure I turn off my background and save as a PNG now this is my Photoshop file for the backup now second is going to be my PNG file and there we have it so PNG supports transparency and that's why I'm looking for it so I got this file that I'm going to switch to Keyshot and add a label over here just a little bit turning so once I import the this uh, texture uh, I always get this gizmo so when you import a texture you always get this gizmo that you can adjust your textures and I'm changing the angle maybe I'm going to skate it down a little bit and there you go and sticking with the position you can just rotate and move to now this is a really nice gizmo so I'm using uh, Keyshot for uh, Keyshot 7 so they upgraded some new function so you really need to check it out now applying the minus key obviously it is going to be for the less sound and once I got this just aligning just selecting by those two layers you can align to both of the layers so gonna save it as a PNG again and there you have it switching to key shot and again applying the material go to my material editor and go to labels and add a label and hit open it again change the position and the scale as well just a little bit looks fine let's add a uh, just add another texture over here and you can create your own textures I would highly recommend it to create your own textures that could be useful so again play and pause you have it again save it and it's a pretty fast process to be frankly you just create into the Photoshop and bring it into the key shot and once you got this then I obviously go to edit materials and just add a label over there this gives you a fast flexibility you just a little bit scale it down just place it and hit OK and obviously I can keep going on with this one but yeah we got a pretty good nice result over here so yeah that's there you go there you have it you got a uh, nice looking speaker over here so we are done with this model and thanks for watching this tutorial I hope this tutorial was pretty useful and if you have any problem please leave in the comment sections and make sure to subscribe and like this video and have a nice day